This is one of those aha moments that I'm kind of having in my career because, you know, I'm actually in the process of getting ready to film my first back paranormal podcast. I haven't done that in a while. And um, I took a couple of months off. I really needed it to sort of, you know, get back to center and, and I feel good. But while I was taking that time off, I was having brands still reach out to me, still wanting to work with me. And I was very transparent. I was like, um, yes, I'd love to work with you. However, I'm taking, you know, some time off for personal reasons. And they basically didn't care. They basically didn't care. And I got really lucky with a couple of brands, like with quite a few brands, because all of them were very patient. But this one, I'm kind of blown away. If you were to go back and watch paranormal content from, I mean, years ago, right? Like I started my first YouTube channel, not this channel, but I have three YouTube channels. My very first YouTube channel, I started back in 2014, 15, strictly paranormal content, right? And if you go back on there, I'm wearing Bellamy extensions. I used to do posts about Bellamy extensions. And then, you know, fast forward, everyone was always, please, Crystal, you know, talk about your beauty, talk about your fashion, your makeup, your hair. And I started doing that here, and then obviously TikTok's my bigger platform. And it just, like, I was so scared. I was so scared. So this is your sign right now, that if you're scared to do anything, and I mean, I know I have my cosmetology background, but I was still just so scared to put myself out there on like the beauty side of like hair, fashion, makeup. And this is just your sign to take the leap, even if you're afraid, okay? Because now fast forward to 2024 and I'm an ambassador for Bellamy Hair. Um, and that's just crazy to me because I've worn these hair extensions for literally years. I mean, especially as a cosmetologist. Years ago I signed up, you can get an affiliate code as a stylist, you have to send in, like a lot of companies will allow that where you send your, you know, cosmetology hair styling license in and then they give you a discount. So I had done that for me personally when I was filming for YouTube. But the fact that I have a discount code now for you guys and I get to be an ambassador for them, wow. Wow. Like, like it's just weird to me because it, it is full circle. Like you work hard and it pays off and it comes back around and you know, it's that manifestation thing, and I've really learned in the past, you know, six months, like, I've always been what I would call a master manifester, but I realized in the last six months that you have to vibrate at a high level, and I really don't believe in manifestation anymore, because it's really just plugging yourself into your highest timeline. Whatever it is you're trying to manifest, it's already there for you. You just have to plug yourself in to that vibration. You have to meet that same vibration, and... This is proof. This is absolutely proof. So I got to, I got reached out from Bellamy in February and they said they wanted to work with me, which I was just totally blown away by. Um, these are extreme luxury, luxurious hair extensions. Um, back in the day when I did YouTube, I had blonde and pink hair and hopefully I can find a couple of photos and I can put them up on the screen for you right now. But those ombre extensions were always Bellamy extensions. They actually used to make blonde pink ombre hair. And um, what I would do is I would purchase them in that way and then just refresh the color using overtone. And I don't know, I'm just really excited about this. Bellamy hair is very expensive. I'm not going to lie. This is a luxe brand and it's probably some of the highest, best quality, especially clip-in extensions. Like they do have wefts and other stuff, but Clip-in extensions is the highest level of hair that you can get. Some of my favorite online hairstylists have used Bellamy Hair. Zach Mesquite, I've talked about him before. He was also or is an ambassador for Bellamy Hair Extensions. And it's just really good, high-quality hair. So we're going to kind of talk about what I got. So this is my welcome card. Thank you again, Bellamy, for allowing me to be part of the family as a cosmetologist. I feel like I've just really reached the top. This is how Bellamy hair extensions come. They are expensive. You're talking three to four hundred dollars for a set. However, if you take care of them right, I literally still have old Bellamy hair extensions that have lasted for years, quite literally. So this is the way it comes. There always comes a test strand, okay? Always. And you always want to open the test piece first because if you open the rest of the extensions, you cannot return them, okay? 
Now, I ordered a silk set, and I'm going to show you what I got. I got the silk seam set, and I believe I got, yes, 24 inches. This is 260 grams of platinum blonde hair, okay? And I just recently, I had like a butter blonde hair color, and I recently colored it back to a platinum blonde. So I'm probably going to have to tone these just a little bit, and I will share with you... Um, the hair color toner that I'm currently using. So this is how the test strand comes. And basically they just want you to take it out of the packaging and check it and make sure it's the color and the length that you like. I also got the seamless extensions, which basically means it's almost like a tape and weft. Um, this is a double weft. You can see there's two sides in here, which means it's even thicker than normal. But like from root to tip, these are beautiful. You can just tell the quality is totally there. So this may not match totally because I do need to tone it just a little bit. But when they say platinum hair, I mean, I think their platinum blonde is probably a Russian blonde, which is some of the most expensive hair extensions that you can get on the market because it is full on, not color treated, virgin, beautiful hair. So now that I am okay with the test strand, we can go ahead and open the full pouch of extensions. And I don't know, there's just something, although I do have permanent extensions in right now, I am wearing some wefts and some, what are they called, um, fusion extensions. I also do throw in a few um, clip-ins every day just to give me some volume. So now this is going to say like if you take this off it's voided obviously so don't remove this if it's not something that you're happy with. Um, they do have color experts online or email as well that you can talk to and make sure you get the correct color but remember with human extensions, human hair extensions you can always um, color them yourself at home or take them to a stylist and have them you know, make sure that they're a perfect match for your hair, which is what I'm going to do. You can just tell, you know, I buy a lot of extensions. Like, I'm an extension connoisseur because obviously I wear permanent extensions. You can just tell these are just so beautifully made, which is why they last so long. I really do believe in quality over quantity, especially when it comes to hair extensions, especially if you're looking for, like, 24-inch extensions these are beautiful. I eventually might turn some of these into at home fusion extensions just because the quality is so beautiful but for now we're going to go ahead and open this. So remember this is 260 grams of platinum blonde hair. Oh it's it's heavy and like to me that makes me so happy because good quality extensions are just I, they're hard to come by. You have to be careful with how you're purchasing extensions because um, if you go too cheap, sometimes people do sell extremely coarse horse hair. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. So oftentimes you'll get people that are complaining about um, the quality of hair and it's like tangly or matted or very, very coarse and it's usually because it's horse hair. This is human hair. It's beautiful and I cannot wait to use this. I mean, look how long this 24 inch hair is. It's just gorgeous. So I want to kind of explain the process of what I do. Whenever I get new extensions in like this, the very first thing I will do is wash them. It doesn't matter the brand. Oftentimes they will put preservatives in the hair and you want to wash and air dry these before you install them. So I will do that. I also got this amazing tool from Bellamy. I'm going to show you guys how to use it. It has a travel case, but this, you can take it with you or put it on your mirror. And it has suction cups as well. So these have little suction cups that push the pins into the wall to make it hold even stronger. But what this does is it holds your hair extensions. So what you do is... If you're out like, I don't know, on vacation and you want to style your extensions without help, you can hang this up on the mirror in the bathroom and curl them or flat iron them yourself. So I really, really highly recommend, like this is a must have if you're wearing extensions 100%. So what I'm gonna do is 
I'm going to go wash these extensions and let them dry. This might take a part two, so I might end up having to come back tomorrow. Also, always try to use the least amount of heat that you can on your extensions. So what I will do is once a week curl my hair with like a hot tool and the rest of the week I do heatless curls. And for now I'm going to go wash these and I'm going to let them air dry, which could take somewhere between one to four hours. Um, because it just more blow drying is going to cause more damage on on the extensions themselves. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that are my favorite products that really keep the longevity of my hair extensions, especially when I have a permanent or clip-in. Now this is an expensive system, but it's well worth it. Obviously I can obtain it for wholesale prices because I'm a cosmetologist. But the entire Wella system for Wella Professionals Ultimate Repair this is a heat protectant and styler, so you'll use this last, it's kind of the last step. But they also do have an ultimate repair shampoo and an ultimate repair for conditioning. There's another step that you can use with this, which is a spray, but um, you only need that if you really have a lot of damage. These are pricey, but they are a really good investment, especially you know if you're wanting to get the most out of your hair extensions, you need something like this or even Pureology. Now I'm going to tone these as well, these extensions, and I'm currently using, well it just came out with some new toners in their Blonder Plex line, and I'm mixing equal parts lightest pearl with um, pale silver, and I use a 20 volume with that. So I will see you once these extensions are washed, toned, and air dried. This is the next day, and I have washed the extensions, look how like they have a natural wave to them. They're very, very beautiful, very thick, full. I have already curled my natural or like my hair extensions and my real hair. So now I'm going to go ahead and put these in. So I'm going to put a couple in in the bottom and then show you how I install them as I get closer to the top of my head. Now I currently have in weft hand tied sewn in extensions at the bottom so if I clip this on top it's not going anywhere but if you don't have extensions to give it I would suggest back combing just a little bit at the base and then once these are in I split them in half and now I'm going to go through and just curl and I always wait for the curls to cool before I actually comb them out Okay, I know this is a really weird angle and I have to keep my head down so you can see this. So obviously, you know, my hair is really short and that's why I've been wearing permanent hair extensions is to help it grow out after my mom died. But on top, what I will do, I'm going to come down here. On top, what I will do is I will back comb this section. So if you don't have extensions, permanent extensions like me, you'll have to back comb to get it to stay. And you can even use just a little bit of hairspray too and you comb out the extension and now I'm going to just clip it right in right here. Now because I have permanent extensions in that are hand tied bead wefts, even if I didn't back comb, this would stay in completely. But that's how you would do the whole head is always take a section, back comb, back comb, back comb, spray just a little bit of hairspray. Don't ever sleep with your extensions in or clip in extensions, okay? it can rip your hair out. You don't ever want to sleep with clip-in extensions. Are the extensions in? You saw my hair before. They're beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. Also, I want you to know this is how short my hair is. Can you see this little piece right here? Because it fell out when my mom passed away. So I can't get it to grow back. And I've gone to the dermatologist. I've been on vitamins. I even was put on hormone therapy. I've had my blood work checked and it's they just say in, when you go through severe stress that sometimes your hair just won't grow back. So I'm probably stuck wearing extensions for the rest of my life. Thank God we can do that though, right? Let's show you the back. Beautiful, beautiful extensions. Clip-ins are the easiest way to go if you've never worn extensions but what do you think leave me comments below i have a code as well tell me thank you so much these are beautiful we're going to do more hair tutorials with these at least once a month i love you guys bye